Sunday. I was supposed to come in yesterday to work in my room, but we got a text on Friday night that they were going to be waxing the floors on Saturday morning at 6 and it would need 18 hours to dry. So I didn't get a chance to come in yesterday like I had planned on. Tomorrow is open house. We typically don't have open house until like September. So I thought when I saw open house on the counter that it was like orientation, but they were just calling it something else. But no, it's like the real deal open house. So I have quite a bit to get done. Let's just take a look around and see what it's looking like right now. I don't know what day number today is of setup because I've just been setting up all throughout the previous week. And I started to record, I think on Monday, but then when I realized how little time that I had to actually work in the room because of meetings, I was like, scrap this vlogging thing. <laughs> Let's just get to it. So this is the bulletin board where my anchor charts are going to hang and it's nice and straight. That is not actually a bulletin board, like it's just wall space covered with paper. I used painter's tape to help me kind of frame it out and make it nice and straight. That's the front of the room. Those are my rolls hanging up, but they are looking a little plain and homeless, <laughs> so I need to put some kind of backing on it. That um, bulletin board is from last year. I, actually, I need to take the border down and just replace it. This is gonna be my amazing work um, board. Uh, either writing, student writing, or birthdays, I'm not sure. And then, like, one of these will be writing, won't be, will be birthdays, and I don't know which is which. The library is looking more organized, but I don't really like how the books are. This is a bag of books that I got last year, towards the end of the year, and just never had a time to go through them, so I need to put those on the shelves. So what I'm doing now is just trying to clear off my kidney table. There's so many little things on here that had been accumulating and piling up over the last several days. And so I'm trying to use the one touch rule, which is something I learned from my mom. And it's basically this, when you're cleaning up, you touch things one time, don't pick it up and put it down somewhere else. Like pick it up and put it immediately where it belongs. And I had been avoiding this task because there's so many little things on this table that all go into different containers or different places. And so that's what I'm doing now. Just picking everything up one by one and putting it where it goes. There's something really sticky on this table and it's annoying me, it's on the desks as well. And we took the last several days of school, like cleaning everything up. I just wasn't expecting to have to put in this level of elbow grease because even though I do a really thorough cleaning or have the kids do it at the end of the year, I still like wipe everything down when I come back, but it's a really, it's usually a really easy wipe down. There's these little things that are stuck to the table. I believe they were making slime in here. I don't know what else they were doing. I'm sure they had a ball, but, oh, geez Louise. So it's only been a few minutes. The kidney table is cleared off and wiped down. This table is cleared off. Now I need to clear off this one. And before I clear this stuff away, I need to switch out that bulletin board up there. All right, we are making progress. The table is all cleared off except for the smallest tape. I stopped using nameplates many years ago. Now I use these um, paint pens. I like the Sharpie ones, but these work really, really well. So after I get this name off the desk, I am going to wipe all of these down. You can see this desk has lots of that stuff on it. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna stop talking about it so I won't be annoyed. hung the washi tape for my focus wall and I'm moving this podium to the back of the room. 
So I think that's it for today. I started to take down the rules, the rules and um, incentives and all that kind of stuff is gonna be on this bulletin board with the um, plants in the black and white. There's where I'm going to hang my objectives. Actually, I think I'll, I'll just write them out in Expo marker, that's a little bit easier for me. And then I need to put another layer of tape just going horizontally right here to divide the objectives from the homework. I do a lot of whole brain teaching, so I'll have my scoreboard somewhere over here. And I moved that vowel chart down there. I was gonna put it away, but it's green, so it goes with the room. So I'll just leave it down there, but I have got to go. I'm gonna take one of these crates to Home Depot so they can like tell me what size to cut the board. I have the padding down here that I bought. The teacher who gave me the crates um, on Friday brought me even more padding and some fabric that I can put on top of it. And let me show you guys what I got from Michaels yesterday in Dollar Tree. I got these grass skirts that I'm gonna cover over where that green cloth is. I'm gonna use this to cover it. And so I think that'll be perfect. I also want to cover, I also wanna cover um, this space right here cause it's kind of messy, even though it's kind of organized. I think I'll leave that one open. So I bought five of these from the Dollar Tree. I also bought this, it says stay sharp. It's just two note cards. Um, four letters and some envelopes and a little green thing. I think I might use this to keep my tickets for our PBIS, positive behavior system. I got these for um, pencils, sharp pencils, dull pencils. And then when we do revising and editing, we use red and blue pens. So I'll put the uh, pens in a cup. At Michael's they had a card stock for buy two get one free so I got these I have a pack that's already at home oh well I started using it at home it's in here and then I got this clipboard from Michael's I think this is so cute and I could not just let it stay in the store so it's five dollars but that is it for today go ahead and do this subscribe if you haven't already and it is a wrap